Jensen? Good grief, lad. What the blaze has happened to you? I made the mistake of surviving. I'm here to get you out, Dr. Faraday. I told the silly that Seraph wouldn't stop looking. Sevchenko's dead, Dr. Faraday. I'm sorry. I figured as much. One day, he was just gone, and they wouldn't say why. We were all afraid, so we just kept to the work. They forced me to create a signal pattern that could broadcast software upgrades directly into a person's implanted circuitry. Upgrades? That do what? Whatever instructions have been encoded into them. They said it was to improve efficiency at clinics, but that wouldn't be the only application. Far from it. Really? What about Dr. Reed? Her GPL signal isn't broadcasting. Do you know where she is? In the secured zone. You'll never get in there. Too many guards. A distraction might encourage them to leave the area. Say, an incident in one of the labs? Ah, a bold plan, my boy. But one small incident would never be enough. No, you're right. But three simultaneous accidents might. <laughs> I like your style, son. And it just might work if you can get near an Eric to agree. But timing them to occur at once, that will be the trick. I'll worry about the timing. For now, sit tight and wait for my signal. There's one thing you're forgetting, lad. They can track our GPL signals. I thought as much. But we have no choice. There may be something. Vasily wanted to upload a virus onto their security network, disable their GPL protocols. Eric or Nia might know more about it. Have you seen Nia Colvin lately? I haven't found her yet. Well, they've done a good job keeping us all separated, but I suspect she'll be in the Microgen building. There's a skywalk connecting the two buildings. If you can find it, you won't have to go back outside. I'm still looking for Dr. Koss. I don't suppose you could point me in the right direction. Eric showed an amazing bit of courage a few weeks back. Slipped a note into one of the project reports, telling me they've got him locked inside a lab on the third floor of the Microgen building. I suspect, though, they'll have cameras and other security devices protecting it. You'll have to be on your guard, son. Any idea who's behind this, Doc? The kidnapping, the facility? Not really. Remarkable, considering I've been here six months. You would have thought someone would let something slip. But if it doesn't have to do with the research, you don't get a word out of them. Sounds like the guards are well trained. But what kind of threats were needed to stop the other researchers from talking? Well, there were threats early on just to get us to work. Of course, Vasily saw right through that. Kept saying they needed us. I suppose in his case, the risk outstripped the return at some point. Damn them. Dr. Sevchenko probably knew the risks and accepted them. That he did. Go on, lad. Let's put this plan of yours into action. It's time to teach these wankers a lesson. Gotcha. Just be ready. When you feel your GPL vibrate, set off that distraction. Understood, lad. But do be careful. Access granted.
Get the hell out! This lab is off-limits to you people. Nice to see you too, Dr. Goldman. What? Wait a second. I know you. You were Seraph's security guy. <sighs> Way to protect our asses. Hey, check the attitude, Doc. I nearly died trying to save you. Oh, and now you're here to take me back. Well, maybe I don't want to go. Maybe I've got more here than I ever had at Seraph. Would Vasily Sevchenko agree with that? They executed him and dumped his body in a ditch. That's not true! Believe it. 
Unless these murderers have you so brainwashed, you don't mind building their toys. It wasn't a toy. It, it was a software upgrade that limits functionalities in a biochip. They told me it was for crowd control. Is Vasily really dead? You saw the body? What was left of it? Oh my god. I should have listened to him. Dr. Colvin, I need to free Megan Reed and get everyone else out of here. It means causing simultaneous accidents in three labs. Declan and Eric. Of course. Interesting idea, Mr. Jensen. Ambitious, but risky. The timing will be critical. I'll coordinate the attack. But you understand that this could all backfire. I'm no shrinking violet, Mr. Jensen, but... There may be another issue. The GPL tracker, I know. I also know about the virus Dr. Sevchenko developed. The one meant to interfere with their security. One step ahead. Just like Vasily. It's a good plan. However, I don't have the virus program. Perhaps you should check with Declan or Eric. Dr. Colvin, I need to know I can trust you. You seemed pretty happy to be here until I told you about Dr. Sevchenko. It's been six months, Mr. Jensen. Not long for you, perhaps, but how long can a person live in constant fear? Once they took us out of isolation, it just seemed easier to concentrate on the work. Did all of you feel that way? Vasily didn't. Maybe not Declan either, but the work we do here, the discussions, and the theories, I thought Seraph's projects were far-reaching, but the experiments I've seen going on here... It's the kind of stuff DARPA dreams up every day. Only without governmental oversight keeping you in line. I suppose I'm just a typical scientist to you, right, Mr. Jensen? Blindly pushing boundaries? No care for who's footing the bill or how our discoveries get made? We all have to live with ourselves at the end of the day, Dr. Colvin. You're right, of course. But were things so different in Detroit? We all know where those Seraph contracts came from, don't we? You asked me if you could trust me. You can. But you better get on with this. I haven't yet located Eric Cost, Dr. Colvin. Do you know where they're keeping him? He's working in a lab on the third floor. There's an elevator that might get you there. It's on the second floor, though, and I heard the guard say something about that floor being shut off. But then again, with those neuro enhancements of yours, you might find a way to get into it. I will. In the meantime, stay tuned for the signal. You'll feel a vibration in your GPL. That'll be the time to set off the distraction. I'll be ready. And I'm sorry about what I said.
Access granted. Grant. Hiding here, you better come out.
Access granted. We're working as fast as we can. This pressure you're putting on us doesn't help you. What, what do you want? I told you people not to barge in here. Wasn't the new biochip design enough? Dr. Kars, I'm here to get you out. Jensen? From Sarif? But we were told we'd been written off. Not exactly. Listen, Jensen. They forced me to work for them. I didn't want to create the new biochip, especially since it was based on Sarif's research, but they didn't give me a choice. No one doubts your loyalty, Dr. Koss. Do you know what they plan to do with this new biochip? I'm not sure. They said something about having Tai Young Medical produce it and distribute it through Lim, but I, I can't be sure. I've already been in touch with Colvin and Faraday, and we've come up with a plan. If the three of you set off simultaneous explosions in your labs, it might allow me to access the secured area and find Megan. Then we all get out of here. Isn't that a little risky? Besides, how will we coordinate these accidents? Uh, it's impossible. Maybe not. But it's that or staying here and eventually ending up like Dr. Sevchenko. They killed him, didn't they? He, he kept provoking them, coming up with these wild escape plans. They try to keep us apart as much as possible now. All right, Mr. Jensen, I'm with you. What's our next move? Listen, Dr. Koss. Dr. Sevchenko had a plan to neutralize the GPL tracker. Yes, he wanted to upload a viral program onto the security control computer to scramble all of their equipment. He gave me a copy in case, in case anything happened to him. Here, I, I never had the courage to use it. Besides, we had nowhere to go. Dr. Koss, the bioship you mentioned was based on Sarif studies? Yes, I believe so. Uh, at first I thought it was merely convergent research, but uh, I've worked with Dr. Reed long enough to recognize her handiwork. Uh, besides, I had been working on something similar back in Detroit. And your knowledge of it made you invaluable here? At least to a certain extent. Uh, it probably helped us all stay alive. But now with Dr. Shevchenko, I guess we've all become expendable. Except for Dr. Reed, I suppose. Why do you say that? It's more of a general feeling, I guess. Back in Detroit, uh, we all realized that we were on the verge of something groundbreaking. And here, well, everyone seems to view her research as crucial in some way. That might explain why she's being held in a secured area. Possibly. I'm just glad we're going home. It's kind of hard to believe. The computer I need to upload this to. Where is it located? Uh, Vasily mentioned a tunnel near the back of the compound. I think it leads to the restricted area's security terminals, but... Well, I've never used it myself. I... I wish I could be more helpful. Or even... Go with you. But... Stay put, Dr. Koss. Once I upload this virus, you'll have to do your part. When you feel a vibration from your GPL, that's the signal to set off the explosion. I'll wait, Mr. Jensen, but hurry.
I know security seems high, but they're only here for our protection. A lot of people would kill for the technology. This isolation has really allowed me to concentrate. Plus, the facilities are second to none. Wow. I didn't think they'd let you guys out of the high security area. We heard that a lot of the subjects weren't doing so well. But you're looking out. Access granted.
Access granted. Pritchard, are you still tracking the scientists? Of course. Simulate feedback along that route. Make it strong enough to vibrate their implants. They have to feel it. A signal, eh? Not bad, Jensen. I'm sending it now. Your tenacity, Adam Jensen, is really quite irritating. We'd like you to stop now. I'm afraid I can't, Zhao. You see, I figured it out. I know what you and your conspiracy buddies are planning. Do you? How clever. A new biochip. A software upgrade that limits what augmentations can do. You're creating a kill switch. You kidnap Megan Reed's team to do it, and you're seizing control of the market to ensure it gets distributed. All because you're afraid of people like me. Augmented people, with the power to resist you. No one's afraid of you, Mr. Jensen. All your blundering around and childish interference hasn't stopped a thing. Tell me, have you been to a limb clinic lately? Let me guess. That was supposed to shut me down, right? Leave me broken and begging? The Augs are recalled! You should be offline! <laughs> Women never fail to underestimate men. You should have stayed dead, Jensen. Jumping at shadows like a scared child. Will you lose your nerve, Jensen, now that the end is near?
men like us. We never get back the things we love.
Access granted. Jaren, is that you? Not exactly. Adam? Oh my god, Adam! It's you. You're hurt. What happened? What happened to you? I risked my life for you, Megan. I came halfway around the world, and for what? It's not what you think. Are you part of this? No! No, Adam, I swear it! The kidnapping was real. The attack on Seraph Industries, they came after me. They wanted my research. And when did you decide they could have it? It didn't happen like that. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. I couldn't! And then David said we had to use it. We owed it to mankind. David? What are you talking about? My great discovery. The genetic framework I found that makes it easier for living tissue to bond with implants. I found it. In you, Adam. I used your DNA. I wanted to tell you, I swear. But David convinced me what it could mean for mankind. How much better off we could all be. It took Hugh to make me see how wrong I was. Hugh? Hugh Darrow. He owns this facility. After Namir brought us here- Richard, patch me into Sarah now. Adam, please. He was only pretending to work with Tai Young and the others. He found out what they were planning to do and told them he would help. But only to make sure they never succeeded. Their control signal won't work. Thank you, David. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Saraf here has asked me to show the world how human enhancement technology can change it. After careful deliberation, I've decided I must do exactly that. Forgive me. Oh, God. He's modified the control signal. 
anyone with the new biochip will be affected. You never said anything about this. I'm going back for the scientists. No, Adam! I know the complex better than you. I'll find them. There's a hangar bay through there. Get to its control room and retract the roof. Clear a path for us. Access granted. Access grant. Jensen, what the hell's going on out there? Broadcast frequencies are going haywire. Malik, is that you? Where are you? Coming into visual range of Singapore now. Been in the air since Pritchard first pinged you. Good timing. I'm heading for a hangar bay to open the roof. I'll need an emergency extraction. Roger that. I'm on my way. Jensen, I'm landing nearby, and I think Dr. Reed wants to speak to you. Hang on. Hello? Adam? We're all fine, but you have to get to Panchea and stop Hugh. You and I aren't done with this, Megan. I know how it looks. But you have to stop the broadcast. I think it's causing the new biochips to overstimulate the vagus nerve, creating terrifying hallucinations. You mean it's driving augmented people insane? Yes. And it's up to you to stop it. Use the Leo shuttle. It will take you to Panchea. Good luck, Adam. Oh. 
Access granted. Automated systems online. Darrow sequence one, code one, one A, preset and ready to engage. Suborbital trajectory plotted. Destination, Panchea. Begin countdown, Mr. Darrow. Begin countdown. Code, zero, zero, zero. Confirm, zero. Countdown commencing. 